The Office has taken on a variety of forms over the years. Last century, everyone was sitting at a desk with a typewriter, whatever those are. And that's me channeling anyone under 30. Now, technology lets us work from our home, our car, or any place with Wi-Fi that can put foamy designs on our hot beverages. But between the office building and the double shot, grande chai, mocha chaka latte with whip and drizzle place, there was another step, and it meant taking a walk. Long before we had access to wireless communication right at our fingertips, our options for communicating with each other were rather limited. Today, we take for granted that we can just pull a smartphone out of our pocket, have the internet available to us almost anywhere, and open apps, open text documents, use the internet. Back in the 1980s, those things weren't exactly available yet. No, not yet. But this innovation was already in the minds of a group of Italian inventors, led by Vincenzo Iavicoli. They were thinking ahead of their time and wondering what life would be like if we could, in fact, be mobile and connected at the same time. I learned more about this funkadelic vision from Kristen Gallerno, the Henry Ford's Curator of Communications and Information Technology. I don't know anything about any of this. That's okay, nobody does. This is the only one of these in the world. This is the walking office wearable computer. Although this prototype was never actually made and the technology was not in place for it to function, the idea showed us what a design for the future might hold. There's a few different parts. This on the front, this is actually a keyboard. <laughs> And this is a uh, display, so what you typed on the keyboard could show up you on this display arc. Type here? Well, you could wear it in a few different ways. You could wear it over your shoulder, you could put it on a table and type on it that way. And so there's all these different components, and then there's a little tape recorder. I mean, honestly, it looks like something Madonna wore in the <laughs> 90s. She might have had some inspiration from this, because this was actually made in 1984. In order to get information, like documents, passed along to someone somewhere else, the walking office would require a particular way to transmit information. This is an acoustic coupler modem. So this is the piece of technology in conjunction with like a telephone or a payphone that would allow you to take your data off of this, this walking office computer. You would take a telephone handset and stick it into this, into the cradle. And then you would hear these funny sounds like static to our ears, but really that would be the sound of data being transmitted over the telephone line. So you wear this down the street and you type a memo yeah. to your... So it gets recorded to this. It gets recorded to and that. And then this transmits the sounds of data to this, which then go out over the phone line. And if you're wondering if these Italian designers worried about the possible problems of always being connected? Yeah, the designers really had this idea, like, let's make technology mobile, but they also recognized the danger in that. Because when you make technology mobile, that means that you can work anywhere, which means that you have this always-on culture. Right, they were kind of prophetic. Yes. Because if you're wearing it around your neck and on your head, you were always on call. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>